So recently I've seen a video by Mashpo and what he did was make a Minecraft clone but he made it in 4D. So I thought it's really cool that people make stuff in 4D and I really wanted to try and do that. So I looked into how other people did it. And all of the 4D explainers on YouTube basically said that us 3D creatures can't see 4D dimensions the same as 2D creatures can see 3D dimensions. And I thought it was very weird because 2D creatures can see 3D dimensions. So first, what do I mean about 2D creatures can see 3D dimensions? I mean, how is it possible to do that? So as you can see by this very low quality video of a spinning cockroach, this cockroach does look 3D and you'd be right, but you see this video from a 2D monitor. So technically this video is 2D. That means that with this logic, we can turn 3D stuff to look like 4D. The problem with that is it's very hard to visualize 4D stuff, even though we can do that. So I wanted to create a game that first shows a tesseract, which is a four dimensional cube, as you can see in this video. But my game wouldn't just show it it would let you rotate it in the 6 rotation a 4D cube has. Now I had to make the net of the tesseract, which just like a 3D cube, which is made of 6 rectangles, the tesseract is made of 6 cubes. Now in Godot, with the use of Mesh Instance 3D, I've managed to create a 3D version of a tesseract. So to get the tesseract rotating, I had to do a lot of boring study stuff, so if you want to do that yourself, I'll have the resources I use down in the description. Hello ma'am! Love uh, this is evidence. Oh. Can you at least tell me what it is? It's the Tesseract. Be very careful with it. So this is the final product. As you can see, the Tesseract is spinning and it can spin in all of its six rotation ways. So you can see that here. But the problem with making a complete 4D game is that us humans are used to seeing stuff in 3D. So when we see 4D objects, it's hard to understand what we're looking at. This makes designing and playing true 4D games hard. That's why I think most 4D game developers use a 3D slice from a 4D world, other than making it truly 4D. But if you're insane enough to want to try and make a complete 4D game or you just want to check out the project I made, you can check out the project down in the description below. So yeah, this is the end of the video and I guess it was technically a clickbait because this isn't a game but it was still fun to make and I hope it was fun to watch. If you want to watch more stuff that I made, you can watch these two videos here and subscribe to the channel to see more cool stuff. Sure, it was full of very boring stuff and I'm pretty sure a lot of the things I explained were that useful or I guess was pretty hard to understand. And yeah, especially for a very small four minutes video. But yeah, still subscribe. It was kind of fun to make. And yeah, bye-bye.